you uh, press conference for your patience and uh, allowing us to conduct this um, situation in a safe manner. Hi. Glad to hear the bells of St. Matthews are, are ringing and um, we do ask our community's prayers uh, for one family today because uh, one person has been killed today. This situation though has played out. It began um, this earlier today with a disgruntled employee that came to uh, back to his place of employment which is uh, Virginia's a restaurant uh, with a gun and uh, killed an individual in the restaurant held um, another hostage for some time uh, this was not a terrorist act this was not a hate crime this was a case a tragic case of a disgruntled individual uh, I think with a history of some mental health challenges who um, who um, took his anger into his own hands and uh, we tragically lost a member of our community today. Um, the, the situation did play out with, um, with the hostage being uh, uh, safe, he's safe. Um, the assailant has, um, has been shot and has been taken to uh, a local hospital. He's in critical, critical condition. I can't thank um, the members of our uh, first responders, our Charleston Police, the Fire Department, the Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Cannon is with me, uh, Chief Taylor, Jerome Taylor is with me uh, this afternoon, our uh, Chief of the Charleston Police Department, and uh, uh, I got to tell you, these, these brave men and women uh, who provide public safety to our community, they did an incredible job. Um, we, we should every day be thankful. You never know what day they're going to be needed for uh, any kind of situation and they're there to protect, uh, protect our community and our citizens. I'm saddened by this tragic um, situation but I'm so thankful to our first providers. 